In this tutorial, I'll be upping the difficulty slightly. I'll be teaching you a technique called knocking out, where we will use some text to erase a portion of a rounded rectangle. This allows the fabric that the design is printed on to show through and become the text, as you can see on the model here. This is a great skill to have in your bag of tricks and will up your design game significantly. Let's get to it. Go ahead and open up Photoshop. And then we're gonna to need to create a new document. We'll come over here to create new. Again, we're gonna use Merch by Amazon's default. I have a default here set up. I suggest you do the same thing. Um, width 4500, height 5400, orientation vertical, make sure it's set to pixels, click artboards, resolution 300, RGB mode, uh, RBG color is our color mode, 8 bit transparent background. Go ahead and hit create. There you go. So um, this time we're going to be doing uh, dark color text on a light background. So it's kind of the opposite of what we did in the previous video. Um, let's go ahead and go over to the shape tool like we did last time. Click on that. Make sure you have the rectangle selected. Um, fill set to white. Click here. Drag down. Let go. Here we go. Now we have a background to work off of. So this design actually calls for, um, we're going to be making a warning sign. So what we're going to use is we're going to use a, um, slight, uh, a slightly rounded rectangle, and then we're going to punch out the text. Um, this will be a neat little trick for you guys. Um, very simple, nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. Come over to the shape tool. Let's go ahead and make the color black. It'll be easier to work with. Right click on this, bring out this menu, uh, select rounded rectangle tool. There you go. We're just going to kind of randomly do this. Uh, drag, click here, drag out. Let's say, just try to think of how this word's going to be spaced out, something like this. Now, when you let go, you'll see this panel pop up over here where, where we can adjust uh, how many pixels the corners are going to be. So if we want to make it more round, um, you know, drag it like this. So now it's 30 pixels. It's going to be more of a rounded rectangle than just a, a typical square. If you drag it all the way there, uh, it'll be, you know, a perfect rectangle with 90 degree um, corners. We want something probably, I'm, uh, I'm going to guess, around 30 as long as you have this little chain link thing here all four corners will round at the same time go ahead and click on the move tool so we can get an idea of what it's going to look like uh, let's get rid of the transform controls there you go it's slightly rounded maybe like how a sign would be very good okay so next we want to create another layer make sure that this layer is on top of the rounded rectangle tool Let's go over to text, click text. Make sure center text is selected here. Go ahead and click right on top of that rectangle. It's gonna bring up this prompt. Let's, I think we're still on impact. Yeah, we are. Uh, make sure caps locks is on, just for this design. Uh, go ahead and type W-A-R-N-I-N-G. Warning, there you go. Uh, go ahead, uh, click the move tool so we can and I drag this in the middle. Turn on uh, transform controls. So you can see um, the transform controls and we can just hold down alt, grab this corner, click once. It's, it's gonna expand this box. This can get very tricky, uh, but click once and uh, go ahead, hold, make sure you're holding down alt, grab this corner and just drag it out to something that looks pretty good. There we go. Uh, I always uh, click the move tool here so I can bring up the align tools. Let's go ahead and align that. Uh, let's click on this rectangle here. Go ahead and align that to center. Now, one thing that we can do is we can click with rounded rectangle selected. Go ahead and hold down shift and click warning. Now, what that will do is if I press this vertical align, 
it will vertically align the text inside the box. It's not using the artboard for its uh, location. It's, it's using these two elements. It's vertically aligning them together. So that actually looks pretty good already. We may want to go ahead and shrink this box a little bit on the top and the bottom. And to do that, very simple, just make sure you have rounded rectangle layer highlighted here. Make sure you have transform controls on. But to see those, you're going to need to have the move tool selected. You can either click over here or just press V. Now come down here to the bottom, hold shift, click, and just slide up. That will move one side. Um, and then you can go ahead and do the other side. Now, there's an easier way to do this. Um, let's, go, let's go ahead and do edit, undo. If you hold down Alt and Shift and then slide up, both of them will go together. So we wanna go ahead and kinda eyeball this what, to see what makes similar margins on the ends and top and bottom. That looks pretty good to me. There we go. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to punch out this white text from this black rectangle. And the reason we wanna do that is because we wanna go ahead and use, see, the color of the shirt is gonna print through where we've punched out this text. And, and that'll give it a really nice look across a broad range of colored shirts. So to do that, what we need to do is come over to this rounded rectangle here, layer, make sure it's selected, right click on it, scroll up to rasterize layer, right there, click that, now it's rasterized. And what that means, it's basically not a live shape anymore. It needs to be rasterized for us to be able to punch these things out of it. So then what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to the text, hold down control, and this little square pops up if, if you see, you need to make sure that you're hovered over in this area. If you're hovered over where it's written, it's, it, that little square is not gonna pop up. So you want this little square to pop up, hold down control and click. And what that does is, is that throws up these little moving ant lines and that's basically the selection. And then we want to make sure that we have rounded rectangle selected because what's gonna happen here is we're gonna press delete and then it's going to pull out this selection from the rounded rectangle tool. And so um, let's just check it out in action. Here you go, just press with rounded rectangle layer selected. Go ahead and press delete, delete. Okay, so you're not really gonna see anything happening, but if you look really closely, you can now see that it's been punched out. Okay, so to clear the selection, press Control D. That gets rid of the selection. We can go ahead and turn off warning here. Just select this layer visibility and you'll see it looks like nothing happened. The reason is, is because we have a white background and we just pulled the white text off. If we select the visibility here on this white background, you'll see that in fact it is punched out of this rectangle. Now that's perfect, that's exactly what we want. Um, we can go ahead and get rid of warning if we want. Just makes it easier to work. Press delete. Okay, so now the next line is may talk about, we're gonna go ahead, add a new layer, come over here, select the text, make it black, go up to the text tool. Again, making sure that center text is selected. Click in the center. Go ahead and type, may talk. There we go. Let's do that one line there. Now we have a may talk uh, line of text. We can, with the move tool selected, we can grab it and move it around how we want. Let's go ahead and just place it there. Come up to the top, click on there, make sure it's centered. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down make a copy and drag it down. So I'm gonna hold Alt and then drag. That makes a copy of it, very easy. Now come over here to this May Talk copy layer, double click on that. And then let's go ahead and type in 
take off caps lock here because I want to go ahead and use a different font for this. Capital A, B O U T, about. Click on that layer there to set it. Double click on this layer here to make this text editable. If you have your char character panel open, then you can come over here and just scroll across and make this larger. Um, very, very easy, nice little trick. Um, it, sometimes it's easier than using the transform tools. But I'm gonna put it here because we're gonna choose a different text for this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in something like Arnold. Do I have it? Arnold regular. There we go. Um, if you see, it's all caps here, and the reason being is on the character panel, uh, this double T is selected, that's all caps. Now, there you go. Now, it's a nice script uh, with capital A and lowercase b-o-u-t. Um, let's go ahead and bring up the um, points on this, the size of the font. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Come over to the Move tool, select that, grab this, just kind of bring it down a little bit. Go up to the top here to center it. Warning may talk about the next line is going to be boats. So let's come down here, create a new layer, go to the text, click in the middle there. Um, let's go back to impact. Decrease the size of this a little bit. Go ahead and make sure caps locks is on. B O T T S boats. There we go. Now we have this. I'd like to go ahead and drag this towards the center. Maybe pull it down because I am going to make it a little bit larger. I want to leave more space here. So when I increase the size of it, again, come over to this layer, the boats layer. Double click here on this on this T. If um, if you double click here, what's going to happen is um, it's going to open this up, and you can actually change that in there and name it whatever you like. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it boats. There we go. Double click on this, come back up to the character panel. If you don't have your character panel open, come over here to window, scroll down to character, make sure that's checked. Uh, again, come up here to the points, just drag it to the side. Let's make it nice and big. There you go. Click the move tool to set that. Bring that down. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and make sure everything is center aligned. Um, click, click on the boats here. Click on that a few times. Uh, I'm, I'm a little crazy about clicking on this thing. You'll, you'll hear me constantly clicking about. There you go. May talk. There you go. And warning. Now warning is just it's all together now. It's a, there's no text here anymore. So. Um, just a nice rectangle. Okay, so another thing that I always like to do before saving and exporting is group these into a group and that just makes it easier to move around. So with a rounded rectangle layer selected, we're gonna go ahead, hold down shift, mouse over the boats, so, and click. Now all of them are selected. Come down to this little folder icon, click on that. So that's moved everything into a single group. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and move this up. So if the move tool is selected, you, you can just move the arrows and it will slide all of it up. Very nice. Deselect that, there you go. Warning, may talk about boats. So as you can see, this technique is very simple, but very versatile. You can use text to knock out of shapes as we did here, or you can use shapes to knock out of text in different situations. You can use PNGs, vectors, anything that can be selected. You can go ahead and knock its shape out of anything else, really. Keep practicing this, play with it, try different things. Uh, you'll really enjoy it. Uh, I use it constantly in my POD business, and I think you will too. Now that we have this done, let's go ahead and save this and then we can export the PNG for upload. Let's go ahead and come over here to file. We're going to save a PSD first. Click save as. 
navigate to the folder that you want to save it to. I've already made this folder. I've actually already saved it, but uh, let's go ahead and save it again. Click save, bring up this warning font. Yes. Um, come over here. Make sure the background layer is deselected. Uh, you don't want to print that white. It's going to look awful. With the background layer deselected, uh, the visibility turned off. Just um, mouse over the artboard one, right click, click on quick export as PNG. I've gone ahead and just copied that. There you go. Click save. That's it. All done. Ready to go. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it and found it useful, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so you can get the rest of the videos in this series. Um, if you have any suggestions of other videos you'd like to see, something you want to learn for your POD business in Photoshop, um, please leave it in the comments section below. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.